All right, I wanted to explain to you why some seams are loose on a torch down roof and then how you can fix it. So I'm going to take this model and I'm going to imitate a roll here. So this is the roll. When somebody rolls down a torch down roof, I'm, uh, let me get the striker. Okay, and then let me turn this on so you can get an idea. So <clears throat> this is torch down by two men roof. And let's assume somebody stands here and he rolls out this roof. So he's gonna torch, huh? he's gonna torch by heating this up. And you need to heat up both sides, the surface here and the roll. Okay? So this is how it's done. Now you see how it oozes out here, look there, you see how it oozes out? That is very, very, very important, okay? So when you roll it out, they ooze out and you can see how the two melt together there. Now look, look what happens here. When it comes to the end, most of the times what happens what happens when it comes to the end, the guy who rolls out this roll lose control, and this is what happens. Let me show you. He heats this up, but then the thing falls down, and he pushes it down like this. Okay? Really nothing, the, the two materials did not, got, did not get fused together. Look, there's nothing there. Because he, lose, he lost control at the end and it flapped over and it put it down. So how can you tell if the, the roof was done properly? You need to see the oozing out here. This material has to ooze out here, all the way. So if it doesn't ooze out, especially at the end, end flaps where they, where they fuse at the end, or something like two feet to the end, this is what happened. This does, the both surfaces did not get heat up enough and he just flips it over and he puts it down and it looks like it appears to be okay. But after a year or two, you can see, you can lift this up and you can say, oh, it didn't really tack. But you can see the look, the rest was melted together. So that's why torch down roofs leave, most of them leave, it's because of those end laps people don't fuse together. So let me take you to the video where I'm repairing that with without a torch. I, I just used a torch to dry it, but you can see how we repair it, and this is the principle. Okay? On to the video. All right. Seldom that a seam will leak, but you will find some seams that come loose on a torch down, and in this case, let me show you. Look at it. It's completely loose. I can put my, sh my trowel in there. So, easy to fix. Um, as long as it's not wet, it feels wet. Give me, give me the torch. All right, so what I do is when you find a seam that's open like this, where you can put your trowel all the way in, that's how you test the seam then you know the weld came loose. And the easy way to fix this is um, just take turbo poly seal, just like that. Look at it. And very simple, very fast, very easy. You just need a little bit of this and you can fix it. And I'll put a piece of fleece there. Just like that and I'm done. And look at it. You cover the seam and voila, that's it. Anyway, that's it. Let me show you what uh, we did, the chimney. This is what it looks like after five years. You see, it's like a grayish, brownish, grayish color. But look at this flashing, beautiful, after five years.
Now you saw how I fix this. Watch this video on flashing. Very, very important. That's 95% of leaks come from flashing and drip edges. Watch this video.